Good morning, everybody. Morgan SLV here. Today's date, uh, 8 17, 2011. Gold, 1788. Silver, 4002. This is like take five. I don't know. You know, uh, I've been real busy lately. My son's business is going freaking nuts. My business is, is busier than normal. Um, you know, we both own businesses. Uh, my work, my normal work, um, is busy. So, I apologize for not being able to put out more videos, but I, I feel like unless I have something to say, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna take up your time. Bottom line is, you know, I have here written down, don't miss silver. I find, I find that a lot of people that don't study seem to be more uh, attracted to gold. And I don't know if that's uh, just human conditioning over the course of life. I mean, you know, Goldilocks and all the different things you hear about, you know, the hay turning into gold, she can spin hay, spin hay into gold, you know, that kind of stuff. The bottom line is, if you look at if you look at the track record over the last say 10 years, take a look at which one is outperforming who, and then make your decision. You know, I've um, when I invested in, in precious metals, you know, I got in around 10 10 50 an ounce on silver, and I'm glad I did because look what it's done, and it's holding it's holding nicely. I expect a dip. You know, nothing is for sure. Uh, you know, I'm willing for the train to, to come completely off the tracks and, and uh, fall into the abyss, or I'm going to hit my mark, which is to sell my precious metals and buy real estate or more real estate. So I'm not a real estate mogul by any means. I don't mean to profess that I'm uh, wealthier than anyone else. Um, I, I, I can say that my wealth has driven has risen dramatically in terms of real money. I can say that. Do we need inflation? <clears throat> I don't know. If you listen to a lot of economists, they say the reason we got out of the Great Depression was because of World War II. Really? Okay. Well, why don't we have a World War III and let's see what happens? Let's take all of the let's take all of the resources that we that we want and need and divert them into tanks and armor, and then that'll pull us out of the out of the freaking uh, out of the mud hole we're in. Or how about you know one one economist said or one guy that was I don't know if it was Peter Schiff, it was somebody kind of like him said, let me ask you a question. So you're telling me our economy is in bad shape because our roads suck. You know, all the shovel-ready projects, and I know we'll just build some bridges that go nowhere. That'll fix the economy. No, we need we need legitimate savings, legitimate investment, and sell and sell items abroad. Let's get back to where we were. Let's get back to the situation that made this country great, where we actually made stuff that the world wanted. Right now, we just consume China's crap. Once again, Sun's business is off the charts. All I can say about that is if you have any questions on how we got his website started, smallenginadviceforddummies.com, or how he's doing his business, just just uh, you know put something in my inbox. If I tried to tell you the income he makes, you wouldn't believe me. I don't even believe it. So you know, for what that's worth, you know, I feel like you know I thought that the whole uh, economic deal would implode already that um, you know the mandate would be ripped off rather quickly I'm not seeing that anymore I'm seeing they're gonna drag this thing out at least in my opinion possibly 20 years maybe 10 years I don't know maybe next year it'll it'll the plug will be pulled but between now and then you know I'm just gonna continue on and uh, and have a little fun We're working on the drag car I picked up my race carbs last night yeah last night and uh, you know it's gonna have uh, about 1300 CFM it's a little bit much for my motor. I can always jet it down, but you know, it's been the motor that I built is a 13 to one big block Chevrolet, and um, it's always star for fuel. And I like the carbs that were on there, and they never fouled a plug or whatever. These these are a little more on edge. They're race carbs, and they're they're called Holly 660s. I'm sure some of you guys know what those are. So anyway, I just wanted to call and call in uh, YouTube YouTube wise and say hi to everybody. I've got here live within your means. And then constantly expand your means. And I think some of you, some of you sharp YouTubers out there, will know where I've got that saying. That's the bottom line. You know, in a, in a time where people are losing their homes and whatnot, you know, my income's going up. I will say that I'm working more though. So, what for whatever that's worth. You guys have any questions on what we're doing or how we're doing it? <clears throat> my my job, I feel like, like my job on the planet is to help people, and I try to do that as much as possible. And people that know me know that I do that. <clears throat> Joke of the day. Let's see if I can get through this. I messed it up the last the last vid. I find that Duck's opinion of me very much is influenced over whether or not I have bread. Morgan SLV out.